The definition of a computer chip is a crystal semiconductor with gates and channels. Wow, what a coincidence. The definition of the cell membrane is exactly the same definition as a silicon-based computer chip. But then, as I started to match the structures to the functions between the carbon-based chip called the cell membrane and the silicon-based chip that are in our computers, guess what? Piece by piece, each part represented the same function in both the silicon chip and the carbon-based chip. Significance all of a sudden came to me and said, oh my God, the membrane is not like a chip. The membrane is a chip. It's an information processor, a carbon-based chip. And it was only created about three billion years before scientists created the silicon chip. And it works in exactly the same mechanism. Typing information into a computer goes through the chip and then comes out as data on the screen. The silicon chip, that's how it works, but the carbon-based chip of the membrane does something very similar. The environment sends signals to the cell, types on the surface, and then the gate and channel switches create that function inside the cell to match what's going on in the environment. And all of a sudden it's like, oh my God, we now have an understanding of the nature of consciousness. And the fundamental unit of consciousness is a perception. A perception is an expression of a receptor effector or receptor channel complex. And the relevance about that is, well, up to now, how can you measure consciousness? Oh, you can take tests like IQ tests and all that, uh, observe animals and their behavior and their responses to the world. That, that shows us that animals can respond to the world through consciousness, but it doesn't show how it works. Now, for the first time, there's a physical expression of the mechanism that converts environmental signals into consciousness. And these are the protein switches. Later in this program, we're gonna talk about evolution and how these protein switches account for the current evolution and for the future of evolution. At this moment, let's just review what we just observed. A cell membrane is a skin of a cell. Underneath that cell membrane are the contents of the cytoplasm, which include the proteins, as well as the nucleus, which includes the chromosomes with the genetic information. Environmental signals hit specific receptors on the surface by complementing the receptor antenna. The receptor changes its shape, forwards a signal inside the cell, and that signal is passed from one protein to another protein. And every time a signal picks up a protein and engages the function of that protein, all the pathways inside the cell that account for metabolism, movement, intelligence of the nervous system, all the functions of the cells are due to the environmental signals engaging the functions of cytoplasmic proteins. So in conclusion, cells are intelligent. Actually, they're super intelligent because think of this, cells created human beings and cells have functions that even human science can't reproduce. And since we are made of cells, an insight into the structure and function of the cell's nervous system would reveal the foundation of how our own nervous system manifests consciousness. While we used to study genes as the primary insight to understanding how cells work, a new field of study called signal transduction is now the primary emphasis of scientific research. It's the science that studies how signals from the environment engage the functions of the cell. So signals from the environment through the cell membrane, through the proteins in the cytoplasm, into the nucleus, control gene activity. This is a subdivision of signal transduction science, but it has its own special name. It's called epigenetics. <laughs>